Spiky bits. Hey everybody, MBG here today with a look at the oldie but goodie Forge Roller Kit. This is the Greater Demon of Nurgle, and it's also known as, uh, I believe, Lord uh, Scabathrax, or Lord Scabby for, for short. This is the uh, the big like $150, $200 kit um, that's on uh, the Oval Flyer base. Uh, one of the four, I guess, uh, more named Greater Demons that Forge Roll put out a few years ago. Um, it's a pretty cool kit. I mean, it's big, big chunk of resin here that uh, that is uh, super detailed. And you see this in a lot of um, Games Day entries and dioramas and things just because people can kind of show off a lot of the, the detail work and, you know, just different different flesh tones and things like that. I mean, honestly, like, Nurgle's super easy to paint, so you can't can't really mess up Nurgle that much. So just to give you an idea how big it is, there's the, uh, the, large, the large oval base there. So it's obviously a, a very detailed kit. It doesn't come with a whole lot of parts. Just um, it's like basically the uh, pl a huge plague sword here, some antlers. Then he's got his little uh, his little tongue thing that actually kind of extends out from the cast tongue around the uh, the plague sword. Uh, some more horns and things like that, just to give you some options for kind of kind of what you want to do there. And well, the last piece, there's two little uh, two little pieces there. I actually don't know what they go to. I haven't actually assembled one of these yet, but I'm sure it goes to something semi-important. Uh, I really like this kit because it's got a, a whole bunch of little, like, kind of, if you take a look at it, there's a whole bunch of little uh, nurgling dudes. There's one right there in the front, kind of tugging on his, uh, tugging on his intestines <laughs> in a truly... Uh, a disgusting slash jovial manner. So it's a, it's a pretty cool kit. It's definitely um, you know one of those things. If you play Chaos, or you play Nurgle, eventually you're gonna want to pick this guy up just because he's uh, he's a pretty neat dude, and uh, you know you can have a lot of fun uh, playing around with this. I've actually seen one that that uh, a, a guy got that was leaking resin, and it just kind of like seeped out very slowly over time, and they had to keep like remaking the base. I think it was at the old uh, GW Battle Bunker up in Baltimore. So it was really interesting to see. You know, you come back after a year, and it'd be on a different base, and it's just slowly seeping like resin from inside the model. So it's just a kind of a neat little uh, uh, centerpiece there, and a little tale about it because it was almost like it was alive. So that's pretty much it for this one. Make sure you stay in the trenches. Uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check out the blog, SpikeyBitsBlog.com, and listen to us on our podcast, ForgeNarrative.com. Spiky bits.